Welcome to the Nehemiah Entrepreneurship Committee Podcast. I'm your host, Patrice Sage, and I'm here today with Yamil Rosales. Yamil, welcome to the podcast. Hey, Patrice. Uh, nice to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> so Yamil is here because we're going to talk about stories for change. So Yamil is one of the panelists of our upcoming eCommunity Global Forum, which is a forum that is free of charge to silver, gold, and diamond members of the, the Neomontrist community. And the $25 for those who are not members or are Browns members, there's still space, guys. If you have not yet registered, you want to do that. Uh, there's going to be a link right there for you to register so that th there'll be a meal, there'll be um, Kinji, there'll be Linda and Naomi, Kinji from Kenya, Naomi from France, and Linda from the United States, and your meal is from Mexico. Mexico. And so they're going to be talking about what does it look like to, to, to grow your business through marketing in the digital age. Let me kind of give some highlight of what they're going to be covering during this particular forum. Marketing your business in the digital age. That is October the 26th from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific time. And so the, the so it's going to be a power pack digital conference. And here's what they say. More than 60% of the global population are connected to the internet. That's 5.2 billion potential clients and customers who are waiting to hear from you. And with the digital revolution still far from reaching its peak, there is a lot more runway for you to get on board and grow your business. But unless you're connecting with your clients online, engaging, informing, and offering solutions to the challenge they face, then the p only people your prospective market and current clients are hearing are from you, are your competitor. So in this particular digital forum, uh, you're going to be know how to connect with prospective and current clients in ways that matter both to their needs and their bottom line. How do you put the dynamic of powerful and of powerful and persuasive copywriting to work to grow your brand? How do you identify relevant data and then put this data to work to drive your revenue and much more? And so this is just some of all the things that we're going to discuss. It's going to be a two-hour session. Uh, I'm going to open it up with a, giving you a biblical framework to digital marketing. And then we're going to have our panelists, and then we're going to go into a breakout session. If you speak French, we'll have a French breakout, Spanish breakout, uh, and, of course, English breakout as well. And so the, the, the forum will inc include Naomi Lomande from Paris, France. Uh, Naomi will talk about the power of visual marketing. And then we'll also have Linda Parker from the United States. Linda will talk about the art and science of copywriting. It will also include Kenji Kirimi from Kenya. Ken Kenji will talk about using paid media to accelerate the growth of your company. And of course, our very own Yamil Rosales. He's going to talk about storytelling for change. What Yamil is going to focus on is how to use content to build a reputable brand using a successful model of telling your business stories in a way that attracts, engage, and delights your audience through each stage of the buyer's journey. Now, Yamil is an entrepreneur. He's Yamil, you won the International Business Plan Competition, I think, what, three, four, five years ago? Uh, you were the Mexico winner, and then you also won the international competition. The first time that Mexico has won the international business plan competition, and the first time that Latin America has won the international business plan competition. Your business, um, and so it's funny, your business, so, so you have a music company, a music school, actually, uh, Sound City. And by the way, Emil, remind me, there's an Ike member that wants to contact you. Her name um is uh what is her name i am school of music uh victor what's i am school of music she's she gonna listen and say patricia you forgot my name oh, <laughs> a lot of pressure from all the information in my head so <laughs> but anyway uh allison wilkinson really wants to connect with you i told allison when i wow. come to mexico i'm coming i'm bringing allison with me because she wants to connect with you with the i am school of music because you don't know this but it was your presentation at Nehemiah Week uh, two years ago that inspired Allison to not only launch her business, but to become, to engage in the community. Oh. Uh, you inspired her. And so she, she's your, she's, you are her hero. She said, Patrice, I got to meet your meal. And so Allison, your <laughs> meal is here. I just talked to your meal about you. 
and uh, and 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 she will become next because she she got a music school as well. And she, you really inspired her. So you meet the high school of music, but you may, you also have another company. You also found a company called Yuhuru Marketing. So so let's so you run two businesses. On top of that, you also are the director of the e community center in Mexico. So you really run three entities. You are a busy man. It's actually like like eight projects. <laughs> <laughs> right I love now, it. There, there's so much, uh, so much things happen, and, and it was wow. really thanks to, to what I learned in the Maya, to get what God showed to me in the Maya. So it has been an exciting run since 2018. That I think that was my first contact with you. <laughs> was that incredible? And Yamil, I've watched you. You have persevered. I've watched you go through challenges and I've watched you even persevere with the challenge with the Nehemiah Mexico office and you've not given up and I really appreciate that. So Ramil, before we get into your businesses, so take me back to young Yamil. He's a teenager. He's a young man in his family's household in, in Mexico. He's going to school. Did young Yamil ever imagine this and what prepared him for all this? Not this. Um, I think that that Jung Jamil had had a wrong idea of mm. the world. Uh, you know, uh, I I think that when you're a teenager, it, it's it's hard to manage some things. And for me, uh, two two things were were really really difficult. One, I was a pastor's son. So everyone was expecting the oldest, and you're the oldest son, and the pastor's. oldest. <laughs> They say it's a blessing, <laughs> yeah, it is, <laughs> but, but it's hard. So people was expecting things. And, and, and I remember that in that time, my head uh, went overwhelmed by this idea of greatness, but not in the best way. So I lose myself. I always dream on larger things and I always dream, but it was from, from, from the wrong side of watching life. It was like you were like the young Joseph growing up in his father's home with a dream, seeing but not yeah. seeing the right way. Yeah, just like that. So in in that in when you take bad paths, it's obviously a time of desert. <laughs> it's always a time for slavery, and and it was a hard process. Where uh, I think that when I arrived to Namaya and start learning and start playing because I was thirsty. I was really there. I discovered. I remember. I want me to you. You were hungry, my friend. You were. Yeah. So, Emil, that's an interesting thing. So, before BE, because what made you not give up or not kind of turn your back from the church and from God, even as you face those challenges? What was it that kept you going? I think I wasn't there. Uh, let me explain this. Uh, I was close to church but far from God. Wow. And that was actually the issue. Um, mm -hmm. as, as a son, a pastor, uh, you always need to teach and you always need to give and you always need to keep a good impression. So, so eventually what happened is that you were watching a mask, but, wow. but there was no deep inside of me. So when I get to Nehemiah, I remember I was thirsty. I was mm -hmm. exhausted. I was starving. I was dying inside. And I really want this because... There's always a need of God. <laughs> mm. you, you get to a point that you understand that 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 the problems that you have, it, it is just a lack of God, absence of God. So so, so in certain way, I, I, I was pretty sure that I needed God, but but I didn't know how to come back, and I discovered that I didn't know myself enough, <laughs> and that's something that that really, when I get in Maya, it was like a, this whole rebuilding process that actually give me back a lot of things that I think uh, what were lost. So if you tell me that if John Gamil imagining this, not this, this is better. <laughs> that is incredible, powerful. What I like about that, Yamil, you've recently taken on the mantle of running the e-community center in Mexico. And you told yeah. me one of the reasons why you did it is it wasn't money, it wasn't status, because it, 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 Nehemiah and BE have such an impact on you that you didn't want to see it fail. Yeah, it, it was it's missional for you. It's like Frank, who said there's no BE in Kenya 
I want to bring it back because of what it done for me. It's like Renee who said, no, be shut down in Mexico. I want to bring it. That is powerful. Now I can understand. But but let me, so Yamil, but, but, but then the Lord gives you the international prize. So, so you come in, you're hungry and so forth. And he, and, and he doesn't humble you by cause you to look, he calls you to win. What impact did I have on you going back to Mexico as the international winner? And the first time that some of Mexico won the international business playing competition. It was pretty challenging because the main problem was not the international competition, was getting back and, and be sure that what we did was a testament, was a declaration. Mm -hmm. and, and, and when you go to war, you declare the other nation that there's going to be a war. So th there's going to be conflict, you know. So I was returning back to Mexico knowing, oh my God, everything that we say now we, are, we need to work. And obviously there's going to be opposition and obviously, <laughs> and then the journey restarted. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was like, uh, I wasn't even in, 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 in Mexico and I was already knowing like, oh my God. This is going to start again the moment I, uh, we hit the floor. <laughs> wow. And, yeah. and, and you had some tough times and you, you shared your testimony during one of the EMI weeks about what, what God did and what you, how you pivoted. Yeah, it was, it was um, an extremely challenging time because um, when we returned, I started applying business plan, a business plan and personal purpose in a different way. It was like, what Nemaya told me, they told me that I spent 80% of my time in the things I'm best for. What I'm best for? Mm. Investigation, mm. development, mm. and inspiring other people. So it was like, all you are going to do from now, it's that. That's it. That's your design. So you need to help the others to discover their own design and to operate on that. So that began a journey that actually started making our business grow maybe not yes in numbers this was uh, before pandemic so we start earning more money and getting more collaborators then pandemic strike but what we prepare in those couple of months allow us to survive and in those wow. period of surviving we were not having profit but we didn't fire anyone and we also bring more people and raise salaries because our people need that and, and we remember, and I remember my personal mission that it's create a future. It's not about the money. The money, it's the, and I remember this from one of your classes, money is just the result of a well... Uh, um, of, of good of, stewardship. Yeah, of yeah. a good tree. <laughs> that's right. That you that's take care. I... So it's the mission and the money is just the result of that. So you are not chasing money. So when I discovered that, it was like, it doesn't matter that we don't have money. Let's pay people. Let's bring more work. Let's develop. Let's pay the price. And yeah, it was not uh, the best decision financially. But right now, and in pandemic, I think that we are stronger than ever. And we are building at a faster pace. So wow. the interesting thing is happening right now. I'm, I'm running three business, one more to come, another three projects. It's like I'm just getting in and, and putting see what I'm good and I'm trying that people around that, that project really figure out in what they are good and what they feel purpose and so in the business now it's about people and developing people and that's bringing future so it's the perfect connection from my personal mission with the business mission and that's why I love Nemaya because at the end we have the same mission creating the future building kingdom uh, business globally so it was just logical. It was natural for me to take this project. So it has been a long journey, not long, because I think that it has been like three years, but it has been <laughs> crazy three years. <laughs> that, that is incredible. You know, I'm talking to Emil Rosales from Mexico, uh, city, Mex not Mexico, but Mexico. Um, and he's going to be a panelist at the upcoming Global Kingdom Invest Global uh, Forum that we're going to talk about marketing in the digital age. And he's going to, him along with three other experts, going to talk about how to improve your business in the digital space, in the digital age. If, again, if you want, you want to register, we want to do that now. It's going to be October 26th. And you can just register by pressing that link or go to nehemiahecommunity.com and there you can register for it. It's free to silver, gold, and diamond members. And it's $25 for, for non-members and bronze members. 
you mean let's talk about Sound City. So you you won your business plan presenting a company called Sound City. What is Sound City? What does it do? Sound City, the city of the dreams, the city of the sound. You know, uh, Sound City. It's uh, as a music school that my brother and I found. Um, uh, I think eight years ago. Yeah, eight years ago. Time is running really fast, and. I remember that when I went out of university, I studied music. It was like, and now what I do? <laughs> I wasn't. I, I I always had this idea of being a rock star, but but never figured out how. So it was like I have to do something while I'm developing other stuff. <laughs> so uh, we start this business, uh, but I think that always um, this intention of building things, uh, it was like really really inspired. Uh, and 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 we start building this music school. The first five years, we didn't really pretty much understand what we are doing, but we were learning. And we were learning a lot. Uh, I always tell a story that uh, at the, in the first days of Southern City, I just sit on my desk all day watching because I didn't know where to start, but I was pretty sure that I wanted to be there. So it was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to be a director of whatever this is. I don't know. So it was a, a, a good a good journey, and the, the the best part of it is now it's a music school focused on technology. It's focused obviously on music, but it's it's focused on developing future for the students that are in. So we are planting seeds. There's people coming to church not because we are telling them oh became Christians because we are no they just watch and try to emulate and we are building kingdom on the job people here and we are establishing uh, that there's a possibility of of being on music and on art and being successful because that's what we are building successful people. Um, there's a large myth around music that you can leap from that. Wow. And it was like, wait, 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 wait. But you have to be famous to live for that. It was like, no, we are going to build a stronger business, stronger projects. We're going to be, build a better a job infrastructure for musicians. And we're going to change the way Mexico appreciates art. So we are on that journey, building futures from music. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, as people are watching and listening right now, you know, particularly those who are really uh, spiritually enlightened, one of the concerns that may be coming up is, you know, when you think of music industry, you don't exactly think of wholesomeness and, and kingdom. You think of worldliness. Second, you think of, you know, drugs, you know, rock and roll. You think of... So let's talk a bit about... So as you're preparing these young musicians through your school and, and really equipping them to be successful, how do you deal with the perception that that success could mean that they get involved in, in things that may not always be considered to be kingdom or, 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 or Christian? So, so how do you deal with that aspect? You know, your you know, music can be so luring and the success could lead to... So how do you tell me a bit about how you deal in your school about, you know, you have the next Michael Jackson in your school, the next, you know, Jennifer Lopez or Whitney Houston or Elvis Presley. How do you do you address that dimension of how to manage the success once they get it as well? Um, that responsibility became um, more relevant these couple of years. Because a couple of our students are already growing and developing really interesting um, projects. Yesterday, one of our ex-students just launched her CD, and it's really good, and it's really amazing, and it's really deep. Wow. And, 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 and for us, it was like, we are breeding rock stars. So if we are breeding rock stars, what we're going to do? <laughs> because we have a responsibility on that. Mm -hmm. So again, it went back to Nemaya because it was uh, teach them purpose. And purpose is about not denying who you are. It's admitting who you are and work to becoming best from who you are and from, from God constitute you and, and, and be a difference in where you are, are supposed to be. For, the, for me, that was pretty challenging because for example, now that I have business, I have to deal with this. This is how I look, long hair, I have a couple of accessories. I love Star Wars and they are always here on my hair. 
<laughs> you know, because that's my battlefield. You know, you know where I get the most people for church? Where? In bars, concerts, and events. <laughs> I love it. You know, I, I'm a guy that loves party. I love winning out. I love uh, hanging out with friends. But in these moments, there are a lot of possibilities to really get deep with some people that sometimes we forget in society. Ooh. So music is a weapon. I'm a rock star. I feel like a rock star. I look like one. I, I'm, I, 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 maybe I'm not currently doing music, but I'm doing projects around art and teaching people future. And I have to look like this. And when I look like this, I get to others, like my students, and they emulate. And they discover that there's a way of, of living their, their, their God's intention aligned with what they are. And if they are rock stars, they need to be that, but around values, around their personal purpose. So that's the idea. That's, the idea is not making perfect people. The idea is making authentic people so that God can make them perfect. Wow, I love it. What just came to my mind is this idea of of the this the the entertainment sphere. You know, you know, uh, the the you know, we look at the seven spheres of influence and what you're doing. You've taken on this sphere of entertainment, which is one of the most influential sphere in our culture, right? You know, I mean, most of us what the church was in what shaped our value it was the movies we watched, the music we listened to, right? The artists we, we admire and so forth. And you're giving us some, some, some artists and some musicians that we, that we can follow that can reinforce good values in us. What I also love about that is you're redeeming music. That's what you're doing. You're redeeming music now, but you've gone beyond sound city. You mean you, you start starting a, a marketing company. How did that happen? Oh, <laughs> um, it was only logical. Uh, Edna Carvajal, uh, ex-director of, of Mexico Center, a, a, um, my personal mentor, once gave me a book, a business book, and the author was telling that you need to build uh, like uh, like a business chain, that you always mm -hmm. need to do like your own universe of service of products and don't really have an impact on me. So I had this previously experience with uh, marketing guys, you know, and things were not going pretty well. So there's a say that if you want uh, to, 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 to do it well, you need to do it by yourself, right? So it was like, okay, this is not working. These experts are not giving me what I need. So I'm going to build it myself. So um, I started, I was going to fly to Portland to an event with the Maya and I missed that flight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? I was supposed I to be with you a week. So in that week, it was like, I have nothing to do. What I do? <laughs> and I was really frustrated because I missed a flight. And it was like, I was supposed to be in Portland. I prepared everything to be in Portland this week. And I'm here in Mexico again. And I don't have anything to do. So it was like, what you need to do? Uh, let's talk on the marketing agency. So that, that day, I'll start researching. I, wow. I buy a couple of courses. So that week I was studying because I was so frustrating for missing the flight that it was like I have to distract. So I start collaborating uh, with Uru Business Plan. So Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Pause for a minute. <laughs> I want to make sure our audience pick that up. So something bad happens. You miss a flight. Yeah. And instead of being frustrated, instead of, you know, instead of turning to drugs and alcohol and, you know, down and that, eat, like any entrepreneur, you turn you turn to your drug of choice, an opportunity. <laughs> you 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 try to fix a problem you had, and you create a business. Is that? What, I mean, that is awesome. That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, because you know that, that that's something that we need. It, it, it's not <laughs> sometimes it's a business that can seem like disconnect from what we are doing at some city, but it's not. Because wow. we need to have like this infrastructure to promote our businesses and also wow. to develop promotion for the projects from our students. So currently wow. what we are building, it's 
selling marketing services, yeah, but also providing infrastructure for developing artists and promote artists and promote our personal I brands. I'm working for a plan, for example, for my personal brand that it's going to be out next year. That's where I'm working. I don't want to work video. I don't want to take pictures. I don't want to do copywriting. I don't want to develop all the content. Now I have a team that can do that. And I think that that's what the entrepreneurs should be doing. Not looking for more things to do with building more jobs and not doing anything. Just think, just, just build, you know, that, that's our job. That's what we need to do. I think I'm talking to the Mexican version of Sir Richard Branson. You know who oh. Richard Branson is? Yeah, of course. Virgin. Virgin. Yeah, Virgin. I, I am telling you, Emil, you are the Mexican version of Richard Branson. That is powerful. <laughs> so, so because you have your Huru, because you, you do have a marketing agency, you are part of this panel. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Emil again, uh, we're talking to Emil uh, Rosales, the founding, the founding president of Sound City Academy, also of Uhuru, um, which is a marketing agency, and he has other businesses. He's also the director of the e-community center. Well, we're going to have to come have you come back later on, Emil, to talk about the e-community center. Today, we're going to focus on on Uhuru, if you don't mind. So, so Emil is going to be on a panel for... Uh, for the Global Forum in October the 26th. If you've not yet registered, you want to do that, go to nehemiahecommunity.com. Nehemiahecommunity.com, you can register, you can link right there, and you can also register for it. He, he'll be Ramil, he'll be Linda Parker, it'll be Kinji, it'll be uh, Naomi. They're going to do a different dimension of digital marketing, how to really grow your business through that. And I'm going to set the biblical framework for digital marketing. By the way, at the forum, we also have connect meetings where you're going to connect with other entrepreneurs from around the globe, Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, and so forth. So, Yamil, so Yuhuru, so what does Yuhuru does? And, and tell us about what it does and how does it work? I know that it's first, it's smart. First, it, it serves Sound City, right? That's the first objective. And your, and your, and your, and your uh, students. But then you also have served clients. You also have clients that aren't business people that you provide them as well. And by the way, I can see the connection because South City is, a, is for creatives, right? Yeah. Marketing is for creatives. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. So what does your word does? And what does that word mean, your word? For our friends, for our English speakers who are listening, what does your mean and what does your word do? Again, that came from the Maya. I met uh, some uh, African friends. And I get really amazed about the culture and, and about how they speak and how, how they look. It was like, wow, who are these people? So I really love that and start investigation around uh, African culture and things like that. So I remember when I was, when I was looking name for Uhuru, it was like, let's look uh, to, to Swahili. I really love Swahili and how it looks and how it's spelled. So I, I, I was trying to look for a word and the word was freedom because everything around my speech, my personal speech, and obviously around uh, uh, the, the business, uh, my business intention, the, the business that, that we are stewards at, are around future, are around freedom, are around um, wow. really being a warrior, but a peaceful warrior, you know, that's a combination. So it's what are we intending with the Huru? So the, the result was we want to bring freedom to business. We want for the entrepreneur to be able to do what he's best at, that is developing their business and, and letting others to promote it because that's hard. I remember that uh, I have been every post that we created on, on, on some city on Uhuru. I have been salesman. I have been the guy that cleans the bathrooms, teacher, uh, developer. I, 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 I almost run everything once in my life to get in touch to what we are developing. So I know that it can be hard. And I, I had this idea that it was like when you launch your projects and these things you don't want to be doing all this job you need experts for doing that so that's what we are trying to build a community yeah of creators but also marketing experts that can help you develop a way a way better to to establish relationships with your uh with with a tribe that already exists and it's only one thing for people and projects to lead 
So it's about communicating and it's about connecting people with the real experience. So for example, Uhuru helps Sound City to communicate the Sound City experience. Wow. And, I and love it. That's what we are working for Nemaya. And I love for a lot it. of things that are coming. I love it. <laughs> I was talking to Susan Tram, one of our one of the e-community members. By the way, you've been an e-community member since what 2018, right? You've been community member 2018. Yeah. And uh, Susan has been an EQ member, I, th I think, around the same time. I'm not sure. Uh, and now she told me she's one of your clients. Well, <laughs> and she's so excited about what you're doing for her. So that, wow. that, is, that is incredible. So, she didn't uh, confirm that to us, Jeff. Well, she it's told me. She told good me, to yeah, know that. She's yeah, good. <laughs> I know, I know. So, um, okay, maybe I let the cat out of the bag. She, you know, she told me she's excited about something. Uh, gonna let's hope for the best, Patricia. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, yeah. so let's. And by the way, she was very excited. She was talking about you guys. Wow. And what, you, what you guys going to do for her? Oh. So, um. By, by the way, as an e community, you know this. Yeah, the, the, the potential of being part of a community. You have these on. She has a company in Mexico providing a service to a company here in the U.S. and they're all connected uh, through the e-community through the, you know, uh, Anna Maria over there in, 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 she's part of Anna Maria Good Coaching and it's just awesome what's happening. So your talk is going to be on, on storytelling for change. So tell us about that. What, what does storytelling have to do with digital marketing? Oh, well, before getting to that, I think that we need to, to clarify a couple of myths that are around digital marketing. Because if we don't understand this, that, that's when we start failing. And that's where, we, uh, where, where most uh, business or projects fail on their way of communicating what they really are. And the first confusion that we have is that digital marketing equals social media. Mm. Digital marketing it's a set of tools and digital resources that should help you as, as the American uh, marketing, uh, it's a marketing a, a academy, it tells the definition of marketing, it's building relationships. It's not selling, it's not uh, promoting, it's not just talking, it's bring, bring relationships together. So I think that that's, that's the, the first confusion that, that people seem to have. Social media, it's not the only way to connect with other people. It's a series of tools that works in the way your business works. If you have a B2B strategy or a B2C strategy, you need to, to learn how to use digital marketing and choose the best tool. And the best part of that tool on the funnel, because that's a common mistake too. That we are not used to, 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 to learn from these marketing cycles the proper way. So we, if we miss on that. So also there's another myth. We confuse success with number of followers. Mm. And that's interesting because it, it's not just uh, the amount of followers that you have in social media. It's with how many people are you really connecting. If you watch my Instagram uh, page from some city, it only has 600, uh, around 600 uh, followers. Yeah, but we are receiving messages every day and leads every day. Why I want followers if we are getting better? I'm not getting their likes, I'm getting their cell phones. Wow. So for the purpose of connecting with community and for growing the business, that should be the goal. The goal should be the KPI. The goal should be uh, what we are trying to establish. So and that's important. Before yeah. you go on, that's important because I think those of us who are not in the social media space, we have gotten addicted to likes, impressions, all these buzz stuff. But, but for the business guy, that doesn't make you money. Yeah. And so what you're talking about really is by using digital marketing to help us have real paying customers and not just be famous on social media. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's it. So you first need to know what's your objective, but also what's your purpose? <laughs> if everything starts with that, what are you doing? Because if, I, I know a lot of people that are doing business just by doing business, just by earning money. 
So if there's no deep in the project, there's not going to be deep on the communicate on the way of communicating. Mm -hmm. Social media should help similar people to be collected, connected, and no longer pretend that you are something that you are not. And that's the true value of what we are doing. Market is overwhelmed by offer. And the main differentiation that each business can have is added value. It's around product and service, but also your values, your creativity, your way of thinking, your way to solve problems and the experience. That's what you show on social media and on digital marketing. It's not about getting followers and things like that. No, it's getting there with a social proof. Did you say, this is who I live. This is who I am. This is the way I'm going to, uh, this is the way I think. So you want to make sure that when a client looks for you, they get in, not just to social media, to whatever digital marketing tool you choose for them to get to meet you, for them to get related, and then maybe, and just maybe, sell. And that is going to be uh, like the main argument of what we were, are going to be discussing on, on, on this forum. How do you transmit your true self to social media and to other digital tools to really help you to grow, knowing social media numbers, knowing ego and vanity in results. What are you here and what are you trying to tell people and what's the seed that you're putting on that people? That should be important, not making a sale. It's about communicating, building kingdom and transmitting what you truly are. And then people oh, with similar interests are going to come in. That's it. That is incredible. I, I love what you've done. And unfortunately, guys, our, our time is coming up uh, and, I, and, I, and eh, I'm kind of torn. But here's the good news. You're going to you can check out Emil again. So if you want more of this, I want you to sign up for the global forum on October 27, because Emil is going to deal with this and you're going to get a handout from Emil with a lot of this stuff in there and now the form we're gonna go into, we're even gonna have breakouts. So October 27, Yamil Rosales, he's gonna one about, it's gonna be him. And let me tell you what they're gonna be addressing, not just the, this is, I mean, this is good stuff. <laughs> you know, we're gonna, you're gonna learn the power of visual marketing. You're gonna learn the art and science of copywriting. You're gonna learn using paid media to accelerate your growth and storytelling for change. You know, and I love what Yamil kind of did. What, what Yamil kind of did, he first helped us to understand what is digital marketing. So we have the right perspective. And then why digital marketing? So we can process it well. And then now he's now talked about, okay, now, because it is about marketing in its narrowest form is about building relationships. Digital marketing is a way by which you do that digitally. And he talked about the tools that you employ. Yamil, good stuff. Yamil, so um, let me ask you one more question because I know that people are saying, we want to hear more of this, but, but you know, one last question before we wrap up. So, um, and don't leave yet because I'm going to have Yamil give some advice in the back end. So Yamil, so the challenge is this, as a customer, as I'm listening to you, I'm saying, wow, that, that, that's so right. So, I, 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 but the challenge I have is, digital marketing, there's a sense, I, I've been on Facebook, on YouTube, and so forth, and I want what you're saying, but how do I do that? You know, how, so give me one, or two, what do I do to be able to go from just getting likes and followers to actually getting customers? What's one thing that, that I can do? You want the honest thing? Uh, they said, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's it. And, and, and let me say in this, get to know yourself, who you really are. Then make sure your business, it's aligned to what you are supposed to be. So in that way, you are going to develop a business idea, not around business and, 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 and money, you're going to build it around an idea and a value idea. An idea that you are going to be crazy to be talking about, to be sharing about, to be teaching about. So the moment you find this inspiration, all you need to do is take your phone, 
and start talking and start teaching and start sharing. Forget about uh, fixing a lot of the graphic. That is going to come with experience. You're going to learn how to make a proper photos. But what you need to be, it's be honest. People are wanting honesty. The moment you're going to be able to show the true self in social media, people are going to start reacting. So wow. that's it. You just saved us a lot of money. Because <laughs> what you did, you brought it down because, because the reality as an entrepreneur, I'm getting all these offers from different experts. And and I'm confused because what tool do I use? What graphic? And this, you brought it down to simplicity. Know myself, understand what I bring to the table, be authentic, and whatever tool I use. No matter whether it's sophisticated, it doesn't matter because I'm authentic and then the rest can improve. And, and you mean, what, what this does for me, I've always wondered, I said, you know, it's like you hear about a cat going viral, right? A little kid going viral, something going viral, and they didn't even plan it to go viral. And those of us in business, we 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 spending money and resources trying to go viral and we don't. We're like, what's the difference? Is what you said. One is authentic. One is manufactured. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if you learn nothing from this, woo, this is good stuff. Yamil, unfortunately, I have to let you go because uh, I, I could go more. But listen, before you leave the Yamil, if you want to hear more of this, this is this was worth the price admission. Because some of you guys have been spending money and energy and all that stuff on, on all the stuff. You've been spending, it's like, but Yamil helped us to realize you've been spending money on paying the house and getting all these trickers around the house and all this stuff. And, and the stuff around the house is more expensive than the house. And Yamil <laughs> is saying, build the house. <laughs> I mean, forget the expensive furnishing. Forget all the other stuff. You got a crappy house, <laughs> you know. Build, build a nice house. The rest of, oh, this is I can go on and on. But so you mean I, I, you're gonna give us one more advice, but don't leave yet because so listen, if 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 you have not yet registered to the e-community global forum, your meal will be there. Uh and and sign up now. It's on, on October the 27th. If you're a silver, gold, and diamond, it's no cost to you. If you're not, it is $25. If you become a member and it's free. Um, and so they're gonna they're gonna help us to understand how to improve our digital presence. And 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 here's what they they promise to do to help us to do: help us connect with prospective and current clients in ways that matters both to their needs and their bottom line, how to be put the dynamic and powerful and persuasive copyright to work to grow our brand, how to identify relevant data and then put this data to work to drive revenue and so much more. Yamil specifically gonna help us uh, to understand the power of story for change, how to use content to build a reputable brand using a successful model of telling your business story in a way that attracts, engages, and delights the customer through every stage of the buyer's journey. Yamil Rosales, founder, and president of both Sound City, Your Hurl, and other companies, as well as, as, as director for the e Community Center in Mexico. Listen, if you want to sign up, there's a, there's a click there. You also can go to our website, neomikemi.com, neomikemi.com. There you can sign up and register. Now, if you want to know how we can help you as an entrepreneur and to grow your business, to be you saying, I love this guy. I want to, how do I become like Emil, an entrepreneur with, businesses that are growing and and that truly kingdom how do i maybe maybe you are a pastor's kid yourself and you've been confused and you want to get you know go to our website nimai project nimai and there there you can learn about our training program biblical entrepreneurship the course that you meal himself to identity and destiny serve with love you can learn about our coaching program um you can learn a bsa kingdom uh executive coaching, elite coach. You can learn about our access to capital. If you need capital to grow your business, you can we can connect with our investors or we can do direct financing your business. You can learn how to become a member of the community. The community where you can connect with other entrepreneurs from around the world, from Asia, from Africa, from Europe, from Latin America, 
from North America, entrepreneurs like Rene, uh, like uh, Yamil, and you know what, membership does have its privilege and together we can transform the world. It is about relationships and here you can find a community who share your values where we can grow together. So join us and, and be a part. Now, if you've enjoyed this podcast, I want you to share it. Share it with those who you love. Share it with those who are on your, on you, that to follow you, share with others. Friends share good stuff with friends, right? You might know entrepreneurs, you might know other individuals who you're saying, you know, you got to hear this guy from Mexico. He's amazing. You got to hear this insights about digital marketing. Share it, pass it along so that you can help others as well. And of course, I want you to join us at our forum. So, I mean, before I pray for our people, one, one last uh, word of advice from you. So somebody's watching and listening, and what's something about your story is that you grew up in the church, past this kid's firstborn, and there are people watching and listening to us. They may be in the same predicament. You know, they've been in the church. They may have been the past this kids, but they've grown up. But somehow they've gotten stale in their faith. And somehow they've gotten, and you know, what advice would you give them? You seem to have, I love what you said. You were close to the church, but not with God. I mean, you you, you came to a place where you just understood the, the, the level of intensity by which you, you were able to describe your experience was powerful. So I'm watching and listening. I'm saying, Emil, how can I get there? How can I, you know, get to where you got to, where I can completely be transparent and vulnerable and begin my own journey of transformation? What advice would you give them? That's a hard question. <laughs> Uh, if you feel lost take it easy um, you can't be found if you are not lost and that's something that really happened to me everyone uh, it's in a different journey for some people being related to God it's so natural it's it's instantaneously, it's, it's, it's pretty much like magic. But f for some of us, God has different plans. And it doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want and, and, and say, ah, this is the desert, that is God, that is God is allowing me to live. No, it's about being smart. But it's about understanding that, that life can be hard. And that if you feel really lost, you are in the perfect place for God to find you. You just need to listen. There's nothing in this life that is going to prevent you to go into the worst desert that you are going to face because God prepared that for you. But what you always need to remember is that there's always a God there for when that time comes, you are ready to face the challenge in a smart way. So it's good to feel lost, but be able and prepare in your heart and your mind to be fine because when that happens, geez, um, everything blows up. You know, it's, it's incredible. Just be humble. <laughs> this is good stuff. Oh, my Lord. Renee, I mean, Renee, Yamil, your wisdom, just how much you've grown. First, I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for, your, for being your authentic self, for, for, pre, for living what you preach. And thank you. We, we, we're going to have you back because I wanted to talk about the e-community center in Mexico. By the way, if you're Mexican and you're watching this and you're saying, I want to join these programs, connect with Yamil. There's, there's a e-community center in Mexico. Yamil runs that. He's got a tremendous plan. What I love about what he's doing, he's starting slowly, step by step. Join him, work with him to build a thriving e-community center in Mexico. Uh, Ronaldo, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you guys. We do love you, Emil. Thank you so much. Look forward to having you back, my friend. Listen, sign up today for the October 27th eCommunity Global Forum so that you can hear Renee and other panelists to help you enhance your digital marketing and enhance your business. With that said, let me pray for you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord enable you to steward those talents like Emil did that are under your care. You know, he's made you steward of, of something. May you steward them in such a way that one day, you will hear those wonderful words. Well done. Good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Guess what? He'll not make you rule over much. God bless you. Thanks for watching and listening. Yamil, thank you again. God bless you all. Bless you. Bye.